Defectors from the Syrian army are claiming a successful attack on pro-Assad forces on the outskirts of the capital Damascus. The assault is making the conflict look more like a civil war than the popular uprising it began as. The Arab League and Turkey say urgent measures must be taken to protect civilians and they're suggesting sending monitors into Syria if the regime agrees to a peace plan. Michael Vincent reports. This unverified video purports to show fresh defectors from the Syrian army. They claim more soldiers are joining their ranks to defend civilians from ongoing attacks like this. What was a home in the city of Homs is now destroyed. Other homes have also been hit by gunfire. The shooting and explosions now appear daily. And in what's believed to be a first for this uprising, defectors attacked an intelligence base near the capital, Damascus. The violence continues to weigh heavily on the Arab League, meeting in Morocco to find a solution. Syria's suspension is now being enforced, but the League wants to re-engage. If President Assad agrees to a peace plan, it will send observers to Syria within three days. We cannot accept that people could be killed the way it is happening in Syria without intervening to stop the bloodshed and to avoid more violence. The pressure on Syria has to be made bigger and stronger. We need something that can stop this strategy being used by the Syrian system and its supporters. This has been the Syrian government's response to date. <laughs> Yet more pro-Assad rallies. However, it has conceded to releasing 1,000 prisoners. For all the support from the sidelines, it appears the Syrian people have a long and bitter fight ahead. Michael Vincent, ABC News.